Merry Christmas! Welcome to Friday Fallacy. This week we're looking at various fallacies that are popular at Christmas. The word Christmas comes from Christ, so Jesus is the reason for the season. This is an example of the etymological fallacy, which is the idea that a word's origins should dictate its current usage. Of course, since language changes, Christmas need be about Jesus no more than Saturday need be about Saturn. Of course Santa is real. He brings such joy. This is an example of an argument to emotion or wishful thinking. That something being true would make us happy in no way means that it is true. Everybody believes in Santa. This is an example of appeal to popularity. That many children believe in Santa in no way means that he must exist, as plenty of false beliefs have widespread acceptance. If children didn't have Santa to believe in, what would keep them from being naughty? This is an example of appeal to consequences. It may well be preferable that children have an external reason to be good, but that in no way makes it true. Why has no one seen Santa? Well, that's because he uses the magic of Christmas. This is an example of moving the goalposts. Only after the child has voiced doubts does the adult postulate an explanation that should ordinarily have been mentioned already. The ability to wield some extraordinary magical power should be of such note that it is suspicious it was only advanced after objections were raised. Since atheists don't believe in God, they can't celebrate Christmas. This is an example of equivocation. The holiday of Christmas can mean several different things, and the two main ones are the Christian religious holiday celebrating the birth of Jesus, and the secular holiday involving decorating trees and giving gifts. Obviously, atheists don't usually practice the first of these, but they're free to participate in the second. The Christian objection rests on conflating or equivocating between these meanings. You can't open your presents now. We always wait until after breakfast before opening them. This is an example of appeal to tradition. Just because something has been done this way for a long time doesn't mean it is correct, right or good. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. This is an example of the golden age fallacy that assumes the existence of some past time that was better than today, usually because things were simpler, people were friendlier, and the weather at Christmas was more Dickensian. Of course, there is often little evidence that such a time actually existed outside of nostalgic memories. Christmas is too commercial, no true Christian would celebrate it. This is an example of the no true Scotsman fallacy. Just because different groups of Christians have different beliefs doesn't mean that one group must be doing it wrong. Excluding some people from the definition on such arbitrary grounds is fallacious. Similarly, celebrating Christmas doesn't stop someone from being a true atheist. In conclusion, there are many fallacies common at Christmas time. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself. Merry Christmas.